Well, it's nearly five years since we lost acclaimed Spartacus actor Andy Whitfield to cancer. Before he passed away, he and his wife were part of a groundbreaking documentary movie on his battle called Be Here Now. It's just about to make its Australian premiere. Take a look. I mean, I was exhausted by the end of the first season, but I'm pretty sure anyone would have been. It's one of the most extreme things I've ever gone through. And uh, there was a lot of pain at the end of that. I wasn't sure what it was, and it wasn't going away. And ended up being diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And we're joined now by Andy's widow, Vashti Whitfield, and filmmaker Lilybet Foster. Welcome to the show. Hi, Vashti. Hello, welcome. Hi, Lilybet. Vashti, we probably uh, saw Andy in All Saints and Pact of the Rafters, uh, McLeod's Daughters, and that Spartacus role was, was a huge break for him. Uh, he was pretty excited to play Spartacus, wasn't he? Well, I think excitement could be an understatement, even in a description, because <laughs> we worked you know, as many actors do who are trying to break out, especially from Australia, yeah. every year he'd go to LA to try and get something in pilot season, me at home kind of breastfeeding and doing the solo mum thing almost. Yeah. So when he actually got that, it was not only getting Spartacus, it was about a transition from a, a, a role as an engineer and transitioning into something everyone said, there's no way you're going to make this break. And it was a great show. I absolutely loved it. I'm a massive uh, tragic for ancient Roman stuff and also violence. And, uh, uh, it was it was a really really good show. Well, you, it's a great show because it was about a character that people can actually associate with because he was historical. Right. He was a real man. That's exactly right. And, and and also it had all the stuff that the glossed over versions often didn't include. It was really deep. And I, Sorry, yes. Sorry. When you made this film, mm. the the one that's uh, mm. premiering, it must have put you through so much pain to do it to watch him. So when we were actually making the yes, documentary. It, Wasn't it painful? Um, look, we were just doing it. We were in the moment, as, mm. as anyone experiencing this, or even living life, you're in the moment. So we invited the cameras in. We were very lucky to have an incredible um, director yes. working with us. So very fly-on-the-wall kind of <coughs> approach. So we were in the thick of it. We didn't really notice them. Oh, well, that's... I, I just thought it would be painful, that sort of... And, of course, in a little, little bit, you were... I suppose it all depends on how the documentary maker, how the filmmaker does it. You were there... Um, observing and recording everything mm. a bit like a fly on the wall is, is life and struggles. Um, what struck you the most about it? What was the... What was the most... What, was the, what did you learn? Well, I mean, it, you're meeting Vashti here today on the show and you'll see, I mean, on your show. Yeah. But they had this amazing, positively powerful way of living their lives and I was really taken by that. Um, and I really wanted to capture that. I felt like that, if the, I could capture that, then this film would be inspiring to other mm. people. And at the same time, there was this beautiful love story unfolding between them um, and their children and their parents who came out. And they're very, very funny, I must say. It's extremely <laughs> yes. funny um, and inappropriate at times. Um, and I felt as if I could capture that, too, that the whole together would be this, you know, hopefully very inspiring film. Yeah. Vashti, can you take us back to when Andy was diagnosed, what mm. that was like for you and your family? Well, I always say this line, you ask for extraordinary, you get extraordinary. You know, mm. if it's a phone call from L.A. saying, I've got the role of Spartacus, oh. to this call going, I think I'm in trouble. I think mm. I have cancer. And it's, it's kind of like getting smacked in the chops. You almost don't believe it. So, Especially when you look, sorry to interrupt, but especially yeah, I mean, when you look at the Spartacus this, pictures, yeah, he's just this... All a man of health. Thrill, but that's right? also part of the message. You know, you yeah, can have a six-pack, uh, be well endowed in every way and look like a tremendously fit young man like and me, like this example. creature yeah. here. But what you may not realise is there's something else going on. So we're real advocates for being, you know, people, inviting people, especially men, to make sure if there's a little grumble, a little ache, to get it checked out. But in and how do I just it's like, I just cannot imagine it? How do you, as parents, I'm a parent of a young kid myself. As parents of young kids, that news must just floor you. How do you, how did you cope with it? Well, to to kind of double answer both your questions, what when I say if you ask for extraordinary, you get extraordinary. Andy and I always did our absolute best to live a very purpose-driven life. So when we found out we had cancer, it was about what can you do with this? This is a traumatic and terrifying and huge thing going on, and why is it here? 
And so that why was, us? well, and, and it was never why us, but it was it's us, so what are we going to do with it? And so for Andy, he wanted to bring purpose to it and our journey, and as your mm -hmm. question asks, how do we create something that is going to be meaningful for our children when we didn't know what the ending yeah. was going to be, to reflect on and actually get to know who they were in the journey, who we were and what we actually got out of it. And so when they watch the movie, they are ultimately going to learn to see what an incredible oh, man he was. You must have felt at times so angry at the world that this had happened to your family, particularly when you had just started breaking Hollywood. You just started getting there. I, I, I'm, everybody likes to ask me this question, yeah. and anger's not the thing that came up for me. Yeah. It was more, um, it was, and it certainly was never, oh my gosh, we've had to let Hollywood go, because no. it was more about approaching this chapter as something of meaning and learning. I always say that under anger sits sadness. Yeah. So the, what was challenging, as it is for anyone that loves someone dearly, is going through the process of what it means, especially for me, because he was my best friend, to then champion an after without that person by your side. So when I watch the documentary now and I get to hear his voice for two hours, it's gorgeous, and then I kind of go, oh, bugger, what? you know, he's not here to be with me at the end of it. I kind of want to turn to him at the end Feel of the sorry. film and go, wow. And then I kind of, it's that blunt reality. You are mm. just extraordinary. Oh, Sitting here I'm watching just... you speak, how are you doing? Are you OK? Um, I'm, I'm more than okay because one of the legacies that Andy and I call it his life insurance was to really teach Jesse, Indy and I that, you know, you, you get one go at it. If you have a crap day, tomorrow's a new day. And that's really how I operate and, and my purpose in life, to be totally right. honest. I honestly feel that our reactions to this, you, th you thought anger, I thought, it, wasn't it sad? Mm. I don't believe that's in you as a person. No. I just think you're very strong and the, the key was that you both wanted to, to have a useful life, mm. a purposeful yeah, absolutely. life. absolutely. And, and the one thing I will always say, and this is, you know, working as a coach and also working with people going through this themselves, for me is about if you can view life as that it happens, you know, anything happens for you and not to you. Step out of the victim mode, honour your sadness, your grief, you know, let it be, but then look at what else has this given me. Do what you can. Yeah. Wow. And, and all this, this documentary was possible thanks to a wonderful Kickstarter campaign, yeah. which is brilliant. And yeah. a fantastic director. <laughs> who Great can director. Be here. <laughs> we have so much to learn from you and your story. Be Here Now, the Andy Whitfield story, has its Australian premiere soon. For session times, you can go to Tug dot com dot au and if you can't find a location near you the website allows you to host your own screening oh, wow. and sell tickets via your social media channels to your mates and colleagues. Ashdie and Lilybeth thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.